I'm standing in front of you today are looking like some imperial storm trooper or something uh, similarly bizarre but really to demonstrate a piece of equipment which um, here in New Zealand we've titled the Burroscope. Now the Burroscope is a piece of uh, equipment that we use for inspecting burrows for uh, wildlife purposes uh, whether it be for seabirds or other burrowing uh, birds or mammals. Um, we uh, have a uh, video camera at the end of a long flexible pipe, uh, a series of cords and connectors, a uh, video monitor of course so you can see what uh, is down the end of the hole and in this particular system we have a miniature recording unit which records the SD card so we can uh, capture the image. Uh, the particular camera that's attached to the end of um, this burrow scope is a colour camera and it produces a colour image under white light or daylight and uh, reverts to uh, an infrared image um, through some LEDs which produce infrared light. The reason why uh, we use infrared light down uh, burrows of nesting seabirds and uh, burrowing mammals is to stop them extending their burrows when they see visible light uh, they have a reaction where they start digging again trying to go deeper underground. Um, this particular unit was made in January 2011 and it uses pretty much uh, the best available equipment uh, combined with portability and power consumption. Um, this unit here has overcome a lot of the previous problems with burroscopes associated with uh, off-angle light and bright daylight washing out the screen so it cannot be observed. And we're using an eyepiece monitor which uh, flicks in front on a brow guard visor and uh, you get a clear image regardless of uh, the ambient light conditions uh, through the eyepiece monitor. Obviously it's a little bit more taxing on the uh, viewer using one eye, but on the other side of the coin you can see uh, obstacles uh, in the general area that you may be working So uh, with the other eye, so uh, it's, a, uh, it's a fairly convenient sort of setup. Um, to stop the cord tangling up uh, we have a swivel connector here at the end of the handle end of the boroscope and of course the pipe then extends, well this particular pipe is three metres long, down to the other end where we have our camera. Now as I said this is a colour camera and so when inspecting burrows under infrared light we may see an animal with a tag or a colour mark on it um, such as uh, plastic colour bands or whatever to identify the individual and uh, this particular unit here if we push the button you'll see that uh, as three white LEDs produces uh, a small amount of light so we can get a colour image and uh, understand the colour. Uh, combination that might be on the animal. Uh, obviously under infrared light uh, the image uh, has no colour, it's essentially shades of grey uh, which the camera detects so the white light is necessary and is only a momentary switch which actuates it so it can't be left on. Um, what else do you need to know? Well uh, the camera is inserted down a burrow uh, using this flexible pipe uh, the pipe is um, corkscrew by nature uh, and it sort of has a counterclockwise twist to it, helix to it. So getting the uh, pipe down the, down the hole of the burrow essentially involves rotating the pipe round and round and round uh, where it binds with the walls and the, and the floor of the burrow um, screwing itself into the ground. Obviously the image goes upside down and revolves round and round while you're doing that and uh, you have to pay attention to figure out where you are. The other um, thing which uh, we have in this particular unit and uh, in most other baroscope units is a, uh, an end that is actually can be bent into a, into a, into a bend flexibly. Well that a bit of a gooseneck as opposed to the rest of the tube which is um, floppy. And this, uh, this allows us to uh, lift the baroscope off the ground as it's being rotated so it actually flips up in the air like that and uh, it keeps it, the nose of the camera dropping into the dirt and also um, allows us to actually flop the head of the camera around any corners or bends that may occur um, in the tunnel or the burrow.
Contact details for information about uh, boroscopes and other field video equipment for wildlife monitoring, you can contact myself here in New Zealand, uh, paul.jansen at extra.co.nz or ring me on uh, New Zealand at New Zealand, uh, area code 4234. One four five nine.